we have a huge morning plan for you with some truly big announcements. We're adding a whole new way to enjoy games on the App Store with Apple Arcade. Apple Arcade is the only place you can get unlimited access to over 100 groundbreaking, exclusive new games made for iPhone, iPad, Mac, and Apple TV. Instead of paying upfront for each game, your subscription lets you download and play any Apple Arcade game right from the App Store. So how much does unlimited access to all these amazing games cost? Just $4.99 a month for the whole family. Let's talk about Apple TV Plus. Now I know that some of you have been wondering, when will Apple TV Plus be available and how much will it cost? Well today, we're excited to tell you that the first shows will be available on November 1st, and it is just $4.99 per month for your whole family. This is crazy. <laughs> we are so excited about Apple TV Plus that we wanted to do something really special. And so starting today, when you buy an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, or an Apple TV, you'll get one year of Apple TV Plus included for free. The new seventh generation iPad. This iPad has a new, larger, 10.2 inch retina display. Under the hood of this iPad is the A10 Fusion chip. So that means that this iPad is up to two times faster than that top selling PC. And for the very first time, our new most popular iPad features the smart connector. So you can effortlessly connect the optional full-size smart keyboard, which delivers a great typing experience in a thin and light design that also folds into a protective cover. First, let's talk about multitasking. With iPadOS, it's never been easier to get to your favorite apps. You can quickly switch between multiple apps and slide over or fan them out to pick the one you want. And with a simple, simple pinch on the soft keyboard, a new floating keyboard appears. Gives you more room for your content and a great and a great one-handed typing experience is awesome. And you have a whole new video editing experience with powerful new tools in the new Enhanced Photos app. And there's some great new ways to use Apple Pencil. Simply swipe up from the bottom corner to capture a screenshot, or choose the new full page option to create a PDF of a full web page or your document. We're also proud that with all these enhancements, this new iPad will start at just $329. You can order it today, and it will start shipping at the end of the month. Introducing Apple Watch Series 5, featuring an innovative new display that is always on. So the watch face is always visible. Now the new always on display is just loaded with advanced technologies. It all starts with the industry's only low temperature polysilicon and oxide display, or LTPO. LTPO allows the display to refresh dynamically from as high as 60 hertz to as low as one hertz, which is extremely power efficient. By combining this incredible hardware with innovative software, we're able to deliver this always on display while still maintaining the same all day, 18 hour battery life. <laughs> Let's talk about another new feature in series five, a built-in compass. Now with the updated Maps app, you'll be able to see which way you're facing just like on your iPhone. You can add the compass to your watch face so you can see your direction at a glance. And there's even a new compass app, which allows you to see not only your heading, but also your latitude, longitude, current elevation, and incline. Apple Watch has some important safety features built right in. Now with Series 5, every cellular model has international emergency calling. So you can call emergency services in over 150 countries around the world just by pressing and holding down the side button even without your iPhone. Series 5 GPS models will start at just $399 and $499 for cellular models. You'll be able to order Series 5 starting today, right after the keynote. And they'll be available in our stores starting September 20th. Today, I am thrilled to share with you the newest iPhone. iPhone 11 has a beautiful anodized aluminum and glass design. And that glass, it's the toughest ever in a smartphone, on the front and back. iPhone 11 comes in six new colors with an all new purple, white, yellow, green, black, and product red. 
It has a 6.1 inch liquid retina display with true tone, wide color, tap to wake, and haptic touch in even more places with iOS 13, like contextual menus. And now we have spatial audio, which provides an immersive theater-like experience by creating a sound field around you using an Apple design virtualizer. And we support Dolby Atmos for an incredible sound experience. Now let's talk about camera. We have an amazing dual camera system with an all new wide camera, with a new sensor, with 100% focus pixels for faster autofocus, three times faster in low light. And we have a new ultra wide camera with a 120 degree field of view. This will let you capture way more in your photos and videos. This is doing an optical zoom out 2X, so you can capture way more without moving. We've also updated our image pipeline, which processes over a trillion operations per photo. And it's got our image signal processor, and it has our neural engine for machine learning. And now we've added semantic rendering. This allows us to more intelligently detect subjects and relight them with detail so they look even better. Let's talk about night mode. Here it is with night mode turned on. So when taking video, you can easily tap to switch to the ultra wide camera to capture even more in your scene. You can also use the zoom wheel to just transition easily between the two cameras. We support 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second, slow-mo, time-lapse, cinematic video stabilization, and now extended dynamic range at 4K up to 60 frames per second. And this is across both cameras, which is pretty cool. We've also updated our front TrueDepth camera to a wider 12 megapixel sensor. Also on the front camera, we've added 4K video with extended dynamic range up to 30 frames per second. And you can also capture on the front at 4K 60 as well. Now we've also added slow motion video to the front camera for the first time. So if you look at CPU performance, with the iPhone XR's A12 Bionic chip, it still leads the pack in terms of the latest smartphones and chips. Well, the A13 Bionic is just gonna extend that lead even further. So what about graphics? because the A13 Bionic is also the fastest GPU ever in a smartphone. <laughs> and last year with the iPhone XR, we already had the longest battery life in an iPhone ever, and it was a big leap and our customers loved it. So with the advancements in iPhone 11, it'll still have an hour more in battery than in your iPhone XR for incredible <laughs> battery life. So we're really excited to offer iPhone 11 at just $699. This is the iPhone 11 Pro, and these are the most powerful and most advanced iPhones that we have ever built in a stunning new design. It's made of a surgical grade stainless steel. The back is a single piece of machine glass with an optical PVD coating. It is a beautiful new matte textured finish that looks great and feels awesome in your hand. It comes in two sizes. 5.8 inches and 6.5 inches. They have the highest pixel density of any display Apple makes. Our Super Retina display is the most advanced we've ever built into an iPhone. It's a new OLED panel that has two million to one contrast ratio. P3, wide color, true tone, haptic touch, and now a much brighter up to 1200 nits. That's incredibly bright while also being 15% more energy efficient. In addition to that, it has the spatial audio sound that Cayenne told you about. It has HDR10, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. So we decide it's worthy of a new name. We call it the Super Retina XDR Display. And today, I'm excited to talk to you about A13 Bionic, our latest creation. It, we added brand new machine learning accelerators in our CPUs. These dedicated accelerators allow the CPU to process matrix math operations up to 6x faster making the CPU capable of over one trillion operations per second. <laughs> Together with iPhone 11 Pro, this creates a fully integrated platform where developers can do some incredible things, like natural language processing, image classification in photos and videos, and character animation and people occlusion in AR apps. The second thing I'd like to talk to you today about is how we lowered the power of the A13 Bionic. It is our most efficient chip to date. It starts with the transistors, the fundamental building blocks of our chips. An A13 Bionic uses an advanced, improved second generation seven nanometer transistor, the most advanced in the industry. And we did this with over eight and a half billion transistors. Finally, at the design level, we apply many, many low power design techniques to increase the efficiency of our design. For example, we have hundreds of voltage domains on the chip. 
and we light up only the sections of the chip that need to function at any given time. So we only turn on the smallest amount of logic in the chip, dramatically reducing power. All of our cores, CPU, GPU, and neural engine are all up to 20% faster. We are so excited to tell you that with iPhone 11 Pro, you now get up to four hours longer in your day. And with iPhone 11 Pro Max, up to five hours longer in your day. Let's talk about the cameras. It has a new wide camera that has a fast f1.8 aperture and focus pixels that cover 100% of the sensor. It is a new telephoto camera with a larger f2.0 aperture. It lets in 40% more light. And has a new ultra wide camera with a super wide 120 degree field of view and a tremendous range of focus across the entire image. Now all these work together with the A13 Bionic chip and its new generation image signal processor. And that enables a whole new level of photography. First, with the telephoto camera and the ultra wide, you have the ability to zoom in two times and zoom out two times. That's a 4X optical zoom range. This is shot with the ultra wide by Kiara Zonka, shot this in Arizona. See this amazing contrast between the lights and the darks and the midtones. Now we want to give you a sneak peek of a new feature coming in the camera that will be available with a software update this fall, but it's so cool we have to tell you about it. We call it Deep Fusion. What it does, it shoots nine images. Before you press the shutter button, it's already shot four short images, four secondary images. When you press the shutter button, it takes one long exposure. And then in just one second, the neural engine analyzes the fused combination of long and short images, picking the best among them, selecting all the pixels, and pixel by pixel, going through 24 million pixels to optimize for detail and low noise, like you see in the sweater there. iPhone 11 Pro is a powerful new video camera system. All three cameras shoot 4K, 60 frame a second, extended dynamic range video with beautiful highlights and shadow details. We actually paired the three cameras right at the factory, calibrating them for color and exposure. And then all the time while you're using them, we actually do some smart things like we, in real time, take data from the camera you're shooting with and prime the other cameras automatically for autofocus, auto exposure, color temperature, even tone mapping. And for pros who want to edit this video quickly on device, now with iOS 13, we have new advanced video editing features built into the Photos app. So you can do things like edit a video for exposure, color temperature, even cropping and scaling. So iPhone 11 Pro will start at $999, and iPhone 11 Pro Max at just $100 more at $1099. You can pre-order all of them starting this Friday. They'll all start shipping on September 20th. In addition to that, we're going to keep iPhone XR in the line starting at just $599 and iPhone 8 at $449. So there's a lot of great options for people at all different price points. Our mission at Apple has always been to design products that empower people and enrich people's lives, to put technologies in your hands and to see all of the wonderful things that you'll do with them. We couldn't be more proud of the products and the services that we shared with you this morning. And I'd like to thank everyone. Thank you.